I'm Srimati Shivashankar. I, ha I head the edutech business of HCL Technologies, which is a global IT services company headquartered in India. Uh, the pers purpose of this edutech summit um, in Ghana is basically to bring to the forefront how technology can be a great means for helping enterprises, educational institutions, and individual learners to get ready for future skills. The World Economic Forum says that more than one billion jobs are going to be touched by technology, which means it is important for everyone to invest now and not later to get technology learning done. Um, you don't need to be a core techie to learn technology. You need to understand how to adopt technology for your everyday jobs today and for tomorrow. So I think it's very important at this point in time for every person in the world, especially in emerging markets like Ghana, to invest in technology education. Excellent. Um, let us just look at the term technology knows no gender. Job careers has no gender. So gender has become very context sensitive from the adoption perspective. How can technology help women in the coming years to stay ahead of the rest uh, from their furthering their own professional and personal lives? Very simple. In the coming years, there can only be two sets of people in the world. Those who have digital know-how and those who do not know the digital way of doing jobs. So if women can invest in themselves and embrace technology learning faster, there could be the real bridge uh, between the know-hows and knows not. So, Besides, uh, the jobs are changing globally. We are taking work to where workers are, where the talent is. So women no longer can be uh, really um, um, in a, in a delimited or limited uh, because they are not able to come to the urban cities or come to the workplaces to work especially when women go through the life inflection points. So I think early on investment in, educa in, in tech education and taking up jobs which are very technically um, advanced um, will help women very quickly to break barriers and also start becoming world-class entrepreneurs. Themselves. Right, so as you clearly heard from the presentations and the speakers, um, this is an opportunity to bridge the gap between education and technology. And primarily, this also says that wherever you are, you don't need to be in the city, you don't need to be um, within the, the, let's say, the university and educational hub. Once you have access to technology, once you have access to um, data, you should be able to also upgrade yourself um, using the very platform that we have just launched, which is the Career Shaper platform from ACL Tech. You should be able to get skills um, that would help you to also get jobs. Like you said, um, there are so many remote digital jobs that is currently available and you don't need to be in a particular area or some specific area to be able to attract this job. Once you get skilled up through our platform, which is the Career Shaper, it stands a chance of getting employment with the many digital opportunities that there is across the globe. Well, basically, this is an opportunity for Ghanaian, this is an opportunity for Africa, um, that we get to scale up, we get to assess ourselves with the gaps that we have, an opportunity for us to get involved in the technology transforming world and also attract the various opportunities that there is in the job market and, st I mean, improve the unemployment rate that we have, which is particularly hitting our part of the, the world. And this is an opportunity for everybody to get involved. EduTech platform, or let's say the ACL Tech platform, which is the Career Shaper platform, is an opportunity for, is not age restricted, it is not um, gender restricted, it has an ability for you to scale up your gap in cyber security, data analytics, um, um, the emerging technology market trends. So you get to actually learn something new that you haven't learned before, um, be it a student, be it corporate, be it a university, academia. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to enhance or let's say to evolve alongside the technology and it has numerous opportunities, courses, models that we believe that people can take up 
and then also enhance their ability to tap into the world market of digital jobs. About AI, we've heard a lot about Gen AI. These are all opportunities that help to bridge the gap between the disability and the abilities of many is that technology is for all, one. And so you don't need to be in a particular field of um, um, engagement. Once you are able to tap into technology, Career Shaper helps you to be able to upgrade yourself and skill up for the new. Side, in our educational and employment policies. And then also we can create a more agile workforce that can adapt to rapidly changing job markets. And lastly, attract foreign investment, as you can see ACL Tech coming to Ghana, by showcasing our commitment to developing a skilled workforce. As we leave this summit, let us commit to this action. Let's see Career Shaper not just as a tool and a platform, but a catalyst for national transformation. To our corporate partners, let's embrace this tool to build our workforce for the future. And to the government agencies that are here, let's use this as a cornerstone in our strategic ways to combat unemployment. Together, through this platform like Career Shaper, we can create a Ghana where every citizen has an opportunity to develop the skills needed to drive in this digital age.